morning everybody, how are you today? Hope you're having a nice day so far. <clears throat> Thanks for joining me and I hope you enjoy the video. So, I was just watching a video there about um, childbirths at home, home births. And I just can't, I don't know, I just can't stop laughing almost at the crazy, the, the crazy idea of having birth in a hospital. It's a, uh, it's not a nice place to come into the world. And just, well, I just heard on my friend's channel that ninety eight percent of women have a traumatic birth. And my friend there is called Be Your Potential. You'll see it on my channel wall. Matthew Armstrong and Victoria Whitehead, they're having a vegan pregnancy and they're going to have a, a home birth. <laughs> but just like the, cr the crazy conditioning that humans have, if like you're getting strangers, men or women, I don't know, maybe women only, but you're getting strangers like just around your private parts, your just metal forceps and things like pulling the baby by the head sometimes apparently many babies and many humans spend their whole life with their the top bone on their spine called the atlas bone out of place um, it's just not a nice environment it's sterile it's artificial strangers going around the place rushing stressed people in their in their job who may be tired going around your private parts and sort of like tugging babies and apparently now there's like 30% or more of people getting cesarean sections. They lie you on your back so that doesn't encourage you to like exit the baby. It's like you want to be probably more in a squatting position I'm guessing. Like when you're pooping if you're squatting position it's, it's proper. That's the way you do it in nature. So what's the, here's the question is <coughs> Ask yourself the question, what way is like good or natural? What, what way is more comfortable and happy and peaceful and joyful and a celebration of the new, a new being coming out into the, real, into, the, into the world? So what do you think is more, more beautiful for the child to come into the world? More natural and, and therapeutic? Home births are probably a pretty cool place, you know? Um, apparently they're much more relaxed and like much more of a happy atmosphere. But I was thinking also, like in nature, if, I, if you've, any of you have read the book Anastasia or the, the Ringing Cedars of Russia, it's just about a woman who lived all, all, like so much of her life and grew up in the Siberian forests of Russia, untamed with all of nature, incredible psychic abilities and like very developed abilities as a human, <clears throat> living in total harmony and conjunction with nature fantastic communication abilities and very 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 wise you know in tune with our higher self completely it's a beautiful beautiful book I've only read the first three or two and a half but the first one I found was the best then I lost a bit of interest to be honest check out the beautiful blue sky in Ireland but like <coughs> gorgeous what I want to invite you to do is like, if you were born like 5,000 years ago, would you be saying, no, I want to have a birth in a hospital? If you were born 5,000 or 500 years from now when the hospitals were no longer here anymore, would you be saying, no, 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 hospitals are way better. I want to have like a hospital birth with all of these foreign people being intimate with me. So I'm just saying like we're, so many of us are just following the rules and the regulations and copying other people, whatever, copying the majority, the herd, the, the big group. And I, are you afraid to like think for yourself and to question things and maybe do things differently? I know I was in the past anyway and I'm not particularly anymore, pretty much in any circumstance. Not really. <clears throat> I like to think for myself and uh, live from what I feel is like beautiful and right for everybody. The hospital thing I feel is a crazy idea. It's just an absurd, weird thing. Women, most third of women almost getting like cut in their, cut in their skin and not having a baby come out of their vagina. 
which is the way it's supposed to be. It's like natural. It's, it's lovely that way. It's fine. It's like perfect for the baby. And what what are like? Think about it. If you have like birth in like in nature, it's just like a beautiful place. Think of all the auras and the energy of the trees and the plants and the flowers and the animals and the insects. Such a beautiful, beautiful thing. It's gorgeous. But if you couldn't do that, like then at home, with like so maybe some beautiful music or else beautiful silence. We're happy people, feeling comfortable. <sighs> so. so, just question this about it and anything in your life. What are you just copying other people? Have you really like thought about this and what's right and what make up your own mind? <clears throat> with everything, anything. Like for example, if I went to a wedding or a funeral, I don't think I'd be bothered wearing all a suit and everything else. Why? Would I, in a thousand years from now, if if nobody was doing that anymore, and it was much more organic and natural, would you be saying, no, I want to wear this, like, get me some black clothes and uh, I want to wear this? Maybe you would if you were a free thinker then. And maybe you like that. Maybe you love black and you like that type of clothes. But I don't, and loads of people don't wear that in their ordinary day. They just, they just do exactly what they're supposed to do according to the situation that they've been programmed or told to do. So, just like fearful creatures, like... <laughs> it's, so, it's so funny, like it's rather hilarious actually. <laughs> I don't judge anybody like this, because it's just, it's the, it's the life we're born into at this time, this time in history. Hey, there's kitty cat. But just something to think about, eh? Hey little kitty cat. So I hope you have a day and like from now on maybe you could like question everything. Everything. Like ev just question everything, all your behaviours and all of everybody's behaviours. Just do what resonates with your heart, what resonates with your centre, what makes sense to you, what follow your gut feeling, not your fearful feeling, but your, your gut feeling of, of more of your higher self, like what, what makes sense and resonates with you. Follow your heart and your good feel good feelings. So if you, you want to do dancing, if you want to cancel lunch with your friend who's like, or if you want to, if you want to don't go to the park today, then don't. <laughs> do what you feel like doing like from your heart, what will make you really happy. Being happy and joyful is a service to the world. It's a beautiful mission. <laughs> it's silly going around wasting your life doing things that you just don't feel like doing. You're not happy and enjoy, enjoying and enthusiastic about it. Obviously, this doesn't mean like abandon all of your responsibilities, of course, but it means exactly what I said. So here's the beautiful sky, beautiful clouds, beautiful air, beautiful wind, beautiful sun. Beautiful person here, Owen speaking. <coughs> beautiful cat. <laughs> and you're a beautiful person too, so we're all like beautiful divine beings having a journey. So I wish you a lovely day, a happy day, a joyful day, a truthful day, a real day, and a day living from your heart instead of being a people's pleaser or from just being somebody following the rules. All right, that's cool. So I'll talk to you again soon and um, feel free to befriend me on Facebook and YouTube and on Twitter, Owen Fox and all of them, except on Twitter, my name, the, the letter O begins with a zero. Okay, see ya. <laughs> Bye.